good stuff. All right, uh, we're running a little bit over time, so I'll, I'll see if I can talk fast, and I'm quite happy to share the uh, slide deck afterwards, Phil. I'm, I might post that to you, and, and you can share it as you see fit. Um, joining Craft Heinz, uh, what you've got there, this, this is about making life delicious. It's about making life delicious for our customers and also for our teams internally. So um, if that's something that excites you, then, uh, then Craft Heinz is potentially a good, uh, a, a good option for you. I think we're all food, foodies at heart, uh, most of us. Uh, part of the interview process, um, don't be surprised if somebody says to you, what's your favourite Kraft Heinz product? Um, that's, that's just how, sort of how we, uh, how we roll here. Um, vision from a, an organisation perspective. So to, stay in a, to sustainably grow, get my teeth around that one, by delighting more consumers globally. So again, you've got that sort of emphasis on delighting the consumers um, and the deliciousness, but sustainability is, is a big thing for us too. Um, I'll talk a little bit further down, but we've, we've got some big ambitions in terms of environmental sustainability. Uh, and so on. So we're looking to sustainably grow. It's, it's not just about being a, 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 greedy, a greedy fat cat corporate. Um, a few of the numbers, um, some, some quite big numbers there. It gives you an idea of the scale of the business. Um, they're 29, uh, 20, 20, 29 figures from our uh, annual report, 25 billion net sales. We have uh, craft employees in 40 different countries around the world. Um, in terms of helping to give back, so 2 billion meals packaged by our employees um, with our partner against Rise Against Hunger and um, 200 plus um, brands, some of which you'll be familiar with, some which may be less familiar to you, uh, depending on where you are in the world. And here's a, a little bit of a sort of a, a, a squiz through them in terms of timelines right through from sort of 1700. Um, grape Pong was, was not something I'd ever heard of prior to joining Kraft Heinz, um, but if you see ones more recently uh, and particularly for Australia and New Zealand you've, you've got what he's um, sort of here sort of kicking in 1992 um, another one that you might sort of come across if you've been over the ditch in Australia is uh, is Golden Circle so the tin pineapple and the like and a range of things in between um, the big one obviously is the tomato ketchup so Heinz and what is tomato ketchup seem to be a staple in most people's uh, pantries do a little bit of a, an audit on your pantry when you get home and uh, you probably find that there's, there's a Kraft Heinz product in there somewhere. Um, Ever-changing market, uh, not just around COVID, but um, consumers are looking for different things now. Uh, nowadays, we've got a big focus on, on plant protein. So looking at people who've got um, sort of different dietary needs and wants, uh, looking at options for sort of vegan and vegetarian offerings. Um, the, the, the guy in the bottom there with the two, two bottles either side of his ears, um, low sugar. Um, so juices, we're looking at sort of low sugar options um, when people eat. Um, so Heinz to home food in a minute. Um, you know, pe people are wanting that sort of convenience as well. Um, Isaac, funnily enough, he didn't mention it as part of the panel, but one of his projects last year um, was around our what is um, food in a minute. So if you haven't already checked out that website, please do, uh, because some of that uh, good work that's gone on there, um, Isaac was was actually involved in that as part of his uh, graduate project. Um, where people shop, so shopping online now, HelloFresh, things like that, shopping on Amazon, calls online, um, countdown online here in New Zealand, uh, and also how we promote our products. So thinking about the audience, um, a lot of people are interacting now on social media and they're, they're keen to um, sort of see and feel and hear the products and feedback from, uh, from the consumers that are, are, are actually our customers. So. <clears throat> Um, COVID did throw a bit of a spanner in the works for everybody. I think we've all acknowledged that as part of the panel. Um, we've, we've got a very um, supportive CEO in Australia and New Zealand, Simon LaRoche, and um, he, he's certainly put sort of people um, at, at the forefront of what happened in COVID. Um, our pet food factory over in, uh, in Hastings was sort of um, revamped. Uh, looking on the shelves sort of through COVID, I think a lot of people found that, um, you know, there was a sort of shortage of, of uh, pet food products. So we sort of reinitiated that, uh, that pet food um, channel as well through COVID. Um, and certainly we had a big focus on the uh, staff welfare sort of through the pandemic. Um, the panel talked about it before, PPA, work from home options. Um, what happens if you can't work, if you're at home isolating? There's a range of sort of initiatives that were in place there for, um, for our Australian New Zealand business. Um, a little bit about our culture and people, so you know what you'd be coming into. Um, we've got six values there, consumer obsessed, 
dare to do better every day, champion great people, own it, do the right thing and demand diversity. I think the interesting thing to just to point out to everybody there is all of our values start with the word we. Um, there is certainly no I in this organization. Um, be prepared to be part of um, collaboration and um, you know the words communication came up a lot in the panel um, you, you, you're not here as, a, as an individual as a, as a graduate you're certainly part of, uh, of something bigger and part of a bigger group of people uh, quickly touch on the ESG commitments. So ESG is our environmental sustainability and uh, governance commitments. Um, we've got some fairly tough targets that we've set ourselves there over the years, but just to um, sort of touch on a, on a few, obviously decrease in water use, um, you know, sort of sustainable palm oil, um, looking at uh, cage free and free range eggs, sustainably sourced products such as our tomatoes, um, looking at recyclable uh, packaging, um, decreasing of waste and so on. Um, so we, we've got some fairly sort of stiff targets there that we're aspiring to over the next few years in terms of environmental sustainability. Uh, a little bit about where we work. So if you're to join uh, Kraft Heinz uh, in Australia or New Zealand, we're part of what we call our international zone. So that international zone is Australia, New Zealand. We also have a small footprint in uh, Japan and South Korea. Um, the other business units within the international zone include South America, um, Europe, and Asia. And then our global team, uh, Australia, uh, Australia, sorry, America and uh, Canada and uh, head office there in, uh, in Chicago. Just uh, a little bit of uh, information there about our brands in Australia and New Zealand. So we've got a, a what have we got there? We've got 10 factories, four in Australia, six in New Zealand. If I was to focus on the New Zealand ones there, um, Chef is the pet food brand there. What is obviously we've sort of touched on. Um, Etta uh, salad dressing is one of ours. Uh, Christchurch is uh, frozen vegetables. So all your Watties um, stain fresh uh, freezer bags that you get with your peas and corn, things like that come out of our Christchurch factory. And we've got a small factory also in Auckland, Le Bon Cuisine. So Anybody who's come across the lovely margarita dips that you come across in, um, in Countdown and uh, foodstuffs, um, they're made in our East, uh, East Tamaki factory there in Auckland. Uh, the panel talked about this as well uh, a bit, but certainly a diversity of careers. Um, please don't be limited by what your degree subject is in and thinking that that's all you're going to do. Um, we are more interested in people who are open to doing new things and growing their careers over a longer period of time with us um, than specifically what your, your, your degree specialization was in and people we do encourage them over their career time with us to um, to mix and match across the different functions uh, and the different channels so lots of opportunities there for movement um, within country and uh, and also internationally uh, a range of sort of standard benefits are, i won't talk to them too much um, some people have already talked about work from home, um, well-being programs, um, I say free food, you work for an organisation like Kraft Heinz, you can expect that when you come in there's soups and baked beans in the pantry there, so if you haven't brought your lunch there's always something there for you to snack on. So who are we looking for in terms of future graduates? We're looking for people that have got transformative ideas. Uh, people who aren't afraid to challenge the status quo, help us think about how we might do things differently. Um, we're interested in what you bring to the conversation. Touch a little bit on the process of so the online application. Um, so we, we have got applications open now uh, for both of our graduate programs uh, through until I think the end of March. So you've probably got another week. Uh, there's the usual standard online application and CV. Uh, it takes you through to Pymetrics, which is an online um, sort of games, um, sort of quiz, sort of assessment. And then what that does is on completion of that, it flicks you through into a video interview where you'd need to answer four or five questions about why you want to come and work for us on a video. And then they're reviewed as, as part of the next step. If you make it past that point, you're invited to an engagement and assessment centre and we do some uh, group activities there and also an interview. And then if you make it to the next stage, there's there's a more formal interview with a, with a panel of, uh, of leaders. So um, the range of different steps there that you can sort of go through from recruitment. Some people we've had some feedback saying it feels quite lengthy. I would encourage you to think about it more like the X factor. 
It's can you make it through to the next round? Who's going to still be here at the final rather than, oh gosh, there's another step to go through. So have you got it? what it takes to, to make it to the end, I think is the key message there. Um, objectives of the program. So if this talks to the just being a uh, checkout operator, there's no such thing for, for us here at Kraft Heinz. We're looking to recruit and retain the best talent to become our future leaders. Uh, particularly for roles, uh, talent pools where we've got uh, current shortages, gaps, or the specialist roles that, um, that don't necessarily appeal to everybody. Um, and we're certainly looking to offer you as a graduate a fast track career. Um, so the first year is, is fairly fast, fairly furious, fa fairly busy, um, and uh, certainly looking for people that are keen to get involved from day one. Um, there's no sort of sitting in as an observer. You're, you're given projects within the first sort of couple of weeks um, and liaising with people in teams across our international zone to achieve some of those uh, project deliverables. And uh, so it really is sort of from day one. Uh, quick touch on eligibility. So um, any any degree, we're not fixed on particularly what your degree is. I'm completed in the last couple of years. Um, we do need you to be an Australian or a New Zealand citizen when you apply, if you want to work for us in either Australia or New Zealand. If there's anybody on the call from sort of international students who are looking for opportunities, we offer graduate programs globally. Um, so I would encourage you to look at opportunities in countries where you do have uh, right to work residency or citizenship. Um, and the one on the right hand side there, look, ideally for our graduate programme, we're looking for people who are open to being mobile. Um, there are opportunities that come up regularly that may take you places where you hadn't necessarily thought you might end up um, when you first apply. Um, Ownership mindset, I'm going to touch on the one at the bottom there, multilingual. So anybody that's got dual languages, uh, very highly regarded, again, because of the, the mobility piece there. Um, and this bottom right hand corner there. So really looking for people that, uh, that are looking for challenges uh, and enjoy that continuously learning. It's This is not a sort of a static uh, opportunity for, uh, for grads for Kraft Heinz. Um, just a very quick whiz through the different programs. So we've got two different programs. One is our International Management Trainee Program. Uh, the pictures that you've got there are five of our lovely graduates that started with us this year. So they are, ooh, they're almost three months in now. Um, so it runs for about 365 days, bit of a graduation at the end, and then you're placed into your first permanent role. Um, I will note there also that you are employed as a permanent employee from day one. Of your graduation it's not uh, from from your graduate entry pardon me um it's not that you do a graduate program and then you have to sort of start again um we we would look to match you with your first permanent role at the end of the first year uh, we also have a global manufacturing traineeship program so that's our grad program for people who want to be based in one of our manufacturing sites um, so if you're more interested in the food production side of things and uh, being a future site manager the graduate manufacturing program might be for you um, again it's it's around about a one-year program with sort of two or three um, months worth of what we call care element at the end just to make sure that in your first permanent role that that you're supported um, on an ongoing basis to make sure that you're settled in that first role. Uh, development, um, all the on-the-job training, there's a full L&D calendar. Our learner management system is called University, and it's quite literally got thousands of different learning modules, courses, um, reading material in there, which is freely available to all of our staff around the globe. Uh, diversity, everybody welcome here. So we are looking at sort of rainbow tick accreditation where we can where we can do that across the globe. Um, our colleagues in Japan have done a particularly good job of that and it's certainly something that we aspire to. So every, back, every background, um, everybody welcome at the Kraft Heinz table. And just to finish this off, I'm going to, um, if I can get the video to work, I'm going to stop talking now and I'm going to let some of our graduates uh, say the last few words for you.
had to use two words to describe the 3D program from my perspective, they would be intense, learning, and responsibility. Growth, fast, and delicious. Challenging, exciting, and teamwork. Challenging, empowering, and rewarding. Um, you can find both Isaac and I on, on LinkedIn if you want to talk to us after this afternoon. Otherwise, Phil, back to, back to you for the next one. Awesome. Thanks for that, Alison. Really appreciate you sharing. A lot of value there. Um, if anybody does want to apply for Craft Hines, um, please check the chat box and you'll be able to apply there. So thanks for, um, thanks for presenting, Alison. Really appreciate it.